Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my July and August favorites and they are all going to be romances. I have a few favorites that I really would love to share since I didn't get a chance to film a July and August wrap up. I figured that I could do this and I'm really excited to share these romances and one of them, hmm, two of them, wow, actually a lot of them are part of series. So really excited to share that and um, continuing to continue on in these series that I have started. So the first book, of course, is a favorite of the summer for a lot of people, and it is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. And this has the two main characters, Perse Persephone, and she goes by Percy and Sam. And it is like Love and Other Words and also The Summer I Turned Pretty is the two books that is it is getting compared to. And if you didn't read it this summer, I think that you should definitely read it next summer or if it's still hot where you are, definitely. I mean, I think it has some like a scene from like Thanksgiving and stuff in it. So definitely would still give it a read this year if you want to. And I really, really liked this book. I read it on the 4th of July and like I still remember reading it 4th of July weekend and just trying to sneak away whenever possible from family like and just being outside and reading it and finishing it up on the 4th of July. I really enjoyed it. Definitely a five star read. And like I said, if you want to definitely read it in the summer, then definitely put it on your list for next summer if you have not read it yet. And if you liked Love in Other Words, I think you would definitely like this one as well. The Childhood Friends to Lovers is quickly becoming one of my favorite trips for sure. And then the next I actually have here with me, and it is The Royals Next Door by Karina Halley. And I have had this book on my shelf for like, um, probably a whole year or almost a whole year. I think I got it about, I think I got it maybe like last September. Um, so I had it on my shelf for almost a whole year and I was like, I have got to read this this summer and I'm really glad that it is. It's my first book by Karina Halley and I think this is her only traditionally published romance, but I th think that she does have some books on KU and does write some like darker romances. So I'm excited to kind of see her other writing style with her other books but this one was definitely a great rom-com and the main characters in it are Piper and Harrison and Piper is a elementary school teacher and the royals British royals are moving obviously next door to her in this castle and then she lives kind of like down the hill and probably what would have been like the maid's house or something like that and since they are moving next door, they, she's obviously dealing with like security everywhere and bodyguards and, and all that stuff, getting a big fence around her house and just all this like publicity that is going on with it. And she is kind of caught in the middle of that. And then she meets Harrison, their bodyguard, and he is definitely like a grumpy bodyguard and is very, very professional, sticks to like he does everything for them pretty much goes grocery shopping and just is also like friends with the royals but mainly um does a really good job at being their bodyguard and she um kind of gets annoyed with him at first but then they start to become friends and then obviously more and I seriously love this rom-com. It was funny. Um, the audiobook was good as well and I just, yeah, the, the tagline here says, an ordinary summer goes royally awry when a prince and princess move next door bringing their handsome bodyguard with them and I didn't know too much about it when I started it but I really did end up enjoying it and it's definitely a favorite of the summer for sure. And then next is a indie published sports romance and it is Blindside by Candy Steiner. And I really did like for uh, fair, fair Catch or Fair Play and I really did like that one as well but Blindside was definitely, I just loved that one so so much. So 
this is about Clay and Gianna and there is a virgin heroine and there's fake dating and I absolutely love Candy Steiner's books and really happy that there is going to be the third one quarterback sneak coming out I believe in November October November sometime I'm really excited to get to that one as well and Gianna reads romance books and Clay reads parts that she highlights. I thought that was really fun and it was overall just a really fun time. Clay is just getting over a breakup and wanting to actually make his ex jealous with Gianna and Gianna is in love with a like singer at this cafe like and they fake date to get these people that they want like he wants his ex back, she wants a singer, and she obviously wants to get more experience before going to him. And obviously they end up falling in love instead. And I really, really loved it. Highly recommend if you like sports romances and really excited for quarterback sneak. And then next is two books that I read while I was on a road trip to visit my family in West Virginia. And I read these both on the way back home that fast. I read them that fast on my Kindle. And I absolutely loved both of them. So the first is my first book by Brittany C. Cherry. And that was The Air He Breathes. This is part of the Elements series. And it is a very emotional romance. Um, definitely check the trigger warnings. And it is a single mom. Very emotional. And the main character, Tristan, Tristan has... A lot of emotional things as well as the heroine has a lot of emotional things that has happened to her in the past and they basically work through this trauma and emotions together um you know not really how you're supposed to but I just really loved this beautiful story and it just I could not stop reading it because I just had to know like what happened and I am really excited to read the rest of the series and really excited that this was my first book by Brittany Cherry and it definitely won't be my last. And then next is Irresistible by Melanie Harlow and this is the Clover, Clover Lee Farms and I'm really excited that I started this series. I know Melanie Harlow has a bunch of different um, like I think like two different series but I think you should start with this one is what I've been told and I'm really glad um, this is another like small town the air he breathes was also small town and I was just feeling small town romances on that trip and um, the it is a single dad and I definitely need some more single dad rep uh, Rex if you have any because I just I've fallen in love with single dad romances now and Irresistible is about a single dad and then falling in love with his nanny which is also his boss's daughter and Mac and Franny they definitely do res try to resist a little bit like definitely Mac tries to resist Franny a lot it's like I'm older than you you're my nanny you are also my boss's daughter like we cannot do this we cannot do this and Franny is definitely the one that kind of like pushes the limits and is like I'm a grown woman I can make my own choices and her parents also kind of hold her back a little bit too um since she works at the hotel and lives near near there and the growth between these both of these characters is so great and I really really loved it really excited to read the rest of the series and read more of Melanie Harlow and if you read from this author definitely let me know your favorite from Melanie Harlow and then next is a Ronnie Lauren book and it is what if you and me this is the second book in her series I'm not I can't remember what the series is called exactly but this is about Andy and Hill and Andy is a horror writer and she does have a some trauma in her past so definitely look up the trigger warnings if you do need that but kind of a thing that she does for coping for her trauma is writing horror and she you know knows all the tropes and everything and kind of like it whenever she was like reading it it kind of reminded me of um it's called the um I'll have to put the other book up here but it's just it was just a like 
serial killer, love in the time of serial killers. That what that's what it what kind of reminded me of a little bit. So if you liked that one, definitely check out this one. And she is a horror writer and she's like, you know, kind of has it in her head the whole time. Like this could happen, this could happen in real life scenarios. And then her new neighbor next door is Hill and he is a former firefighter. And I really loved the relationship between these two and how they became friends first and he taught her how to cook which was a really great part of the book and I absolutely highly recommend and cannot wait to read the third book in that series by Ronnie Lauren and then the next two books are well I yeah two books are from a series the Bergman Brothers series and that was Always Only You by by Chloe Lise and Ever After Always by Chloe Lise. And these are sports romances following the first book follows soccer, second book is hockey, and third book is um, the sister book. And this obviously all follows the Bergman brothers and then the sister. And the second book I really loved the autism representation and it also had arthritis rep as well. All of the books have great disability rep. And then the second book or the third book Ever After Always was a Marriage in Trouble which I love Marriage in Trouble romances. They are my absolute favorite. And this was really fun because they started going to counseling and then they were really, really on the rocks and um, her family paid for her parents or got all together for her parents' anniversary and they had to take a family vacation to Hawaii while their marriage was kind of still in the on the rocks and kind of pretend like everything was okay and then so they were working on their marriage on the trip and also before and after and I love this series so far and I cannot wait to continue. If you like sports romances, if you love disability reps, I definitely recommend this series. Like I don't know why, like I think I started it maybe at the beginning of the year or even maybe last year and I don't know why like I didn't continue. Like I started the first book and then I was like I'm not really like loving this first book and I didn't continue and then this um, summer I was like I'm gonna push through this first book and I'm gonna finish the rest of finish like reading this series and I have the fourth book right now from the library on audio and I'm really excited to get to that one but I do highly recommend the second and the third book are my favorite so far of the series. So that is my favorite romances of July and August and I am really excited to get into fall and see what books are in store for me and what ones will be my favorite of the fall. But I really just wanted to share these and talk about them more in depth with you since I did not get the chance to do those wrap ups. And I think that since summer is leaving and it is pretty much gone here in Minnesota, it's definitely starting of fall. It's like 50 degrees in the mornings, if not lower, and it'll warm up a little bit during the day to like 70 and then go down again at night. Um, so it definitely is starting to be fall here in Minnesota. I think that we should leave like a sun and a leaf emoji for today's video and I will see you in my next video. If you like, if you like this kind of content, definitely like and subscribe for more book recommendations and me talking about my favorite books. Bye!